Hey there, I'm Mike from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, you'll learn how to easily start an internet radio station fast. So in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at Radio.co, another partner of ours in the Summer of Sound, your chance to win access to this fantastic platform that allows you to start your own radio station in the cloud. Now, previously, if you've ever tried to do this online, you'll remember the old way of having listeners, streaming servers, web developers, scheduling software, JavaScript players, encoders. Radio.co uh, takes everything out of the mix and just does it all for you, which is great. Uh, if you want to win, by the way, there's still a chance to go to mrc.fm slash giveaway and win their gold package for a year, which is a $99 value every single month. So I'm going to take you behind the scenes now, log into myradio.co account and just show you behind the scenes of how slick this really is for starting your own radio station. So up here, you've got a connection status, live anytime enabled. You've got the host details as well if you want to submit to directories and bits like that. You can also see at a glance your listeners, bandwidth usage, storage, and this lovely map that will light up uh, like a heat map once you start getting listeners around the world. So a really cool thing. You can see how many in Russia, how many in the US, how many in Brazil, all over the place which is great. So I'm going to go and add some media just by clicking add media and you can just drag and drop. So this is really cool. Here I've got some music radio creative jingles. So let's drag and drop into radio.co and there we go uploading nicely. It's as easy as that. Now, as you can see, I'm using a little bit of my storage with those music radio creative jingles. I also want to go in and change the look of my radio station. So I'll go into settings and I'll choose a logo. I do happen to have a logo available to me. So let's go into my radio.co directory and grab that logo, pop it in, and uh, I can give it a name. So I can call this Music Radio Creative. Uh, we'll put in the website there as well. Why not? And you can put in as much detail about your radio station as you want. So you can give it a genre, description, language, even city, time zone, and so on and so on. But for now, I'm just going to save that information. You'll see this updates into my media directory now. I can see these tracks are already here. I can give them uh, different metadata if I wish. I can go in and, and edit and say, OK, I want the title to be MRC Pop Jingle. I want the artist to be Music Radio Creator. And we could also have the same album uh, just so we get all the metadata correct. Uh, let's make sure I get that absolutely right. And I can do the same for everything else in my library as well. You can also uh, make bulk edits as well by ticking here uh, and doing all sorts of bits there. You can edit in bulk like this, edit the artist and album together like that. Boom. Really, really easy stuff to organize your media. Really is good. Uh, and then you can go in, you can create playlists out of everything you've got. So there's a default playlist here uh, that I can go and I can drag and drop uh, my audio, in this case jingles, but it could be music tracks or voice tracks, whatever you want in. You've got scheduling, uh, which is fantastic. So uh, again, you've got a lovely looking calendar where you can schedule in things. You can have different DJs scheduled to go out with different shows. You can assign people to, to sign in and broadcast their own shows on your radio station. And then you've got this listening thing here with some wonderful URLs to listen to your station, which is on air. You can see here by an on-air indication it's on. You can, of course, switch it off to be off the air as well if you like. You can use web players, which once you've uploaded your radio station logo, you get this beautiful little embeddable player uh, with a logo on, a play button here, everything it shows you what's playing. So if I click play right now, uh, we'll see here we get a few more details. So I can have autoplay enabled if I like. I can have the corners rounded or square if I like. They can have social buttons as well, which is always good so people can share your radio station to social media. Another fantastic thing. Uh, all kinds of stuff. I mean, there is just so much you can do with this platform. The statistics is brilliant. And if I had some listeners, which I've just set this up, I'd be able to show you beautiful graphs. Um, but so many great tutorials on the radio.co website as well. If you're serious about getting started with internet radio, thoroughly recommend you check it out and give it a go and get your radio station up and going. It's definitely on my list, uh, maybe in 2019, to get my own online radio station up and running again, because I had so much fun before uh, putting jingles in, putting music in, making the imaging, making it sound great. Uh, so definitely something you can have a lot of fun with. And like I say, Radio.co are a partner in our Summer of Sound awesome audio gear giveaway. If you'd like to win a one-year subscription to their gold service, just go to mrc.fm slash giveaway right now. Oh.